Well, we did get our spike in volatility, guys. Not necessarily the direction that we were hoping for, but we did pull back in terms of SHIB and the broader crypto market. And this was kind of more based on some some negative news that came for BTC and institutional money yesterday. If you guys are interested in hearing more about that, you can check out my DTCC news from my ADA video earlier today. But with BTC going through this retracement, like you guys see in the charts here, we did the same thing in terms of SHIB. You know, we're coming down, we're facing a little correction here. Again, there are some great opportunities flashing on the charts here, some great DCA opportunities. If you guys are interested in checking out my indicator, links in the description below. There's a 30 day money back guarantee. Historically speaking, when we've gotten some of these, there's been opportunities to, you know, get some nice, nice rallies after that, some nice pops along the way. So now we're just waiting to see if SHIB is going to hold this 4024 range, which has been a, a good range of support for SHIB. So hopefully we continue to hold that and, and look good in that range, but we'll wait and see what happens. Now, there's something interesting that I've been noticing in terms of institutional money, and that is that it's really throttled down in a heavy way. Institutional buying is really, really crawled to a halt here. You can see BlackRock, who had been adding hundreds of millions of dollars worth per day of BTC leading up to April, has really just kind of flatlined. Last three days, for example, no ads at all. In fact, GBTC has continued to sell. We've seen BlackRock just kind of hold pat right now. And it kind of, again, leads me to believe that everybody right now is just waiting for this FOMC meeting to see what the Fed stance is going to be. I've heard some people talk about them raising rates. I don't think they're going to do that. I think it's just going to be kind of more the same, this, you know, this flat, not doing anything. They may just put push back these interest rate decreases. That's that's kind of what my my thoughts are in this regard. Now, what I am noticing is GBTC is is kind of worked their way through a lot of their crypto. They've actually gotten to this point that they only have or they've liquidated 17 billion worth of uh BTC. And they only have, who's that guy? <laughs> they only have, where is it? 19 billion left. So they're almost halfway through all this institutional selling, which is a great sign. And it means at some point, again, I would expect them to slow, like really throttle down. I doubt they want to liquidate their entire bags. We talked about the small cap fund that's coming too. So we'll, we'll wait and see what happens. But the interesting thing I want to point out is while all this is going on, there is a transition to alts that's taking place. And you can see, for example, this direction has been confirmed for SHIB for the past two weeks now, since two Saturdays ago, SHIB Inu has been climbing up and to the right against BTC. And this is a great sign. This is a testament again to that strength that SHIB is showing. Now that is also retesting our trend line here too. So we'll have to wait and see if, if this holds as well, if we get a wick down, like we've gotten a couple of these other times. But if this direction continues to be set, this is kind of that confirmation of the beginning of alt season. Now, I will say this, it, it doesn't look like the beginning of alt season, right? It looks like we're just kind of, you know, going through a little bit of a drop. For example, since the Bitcoin halving, you guys can see that Shibin has dropped about 14%. We're seeing a similar, similar movement across most assets in the space. And, and really, again, BTC is just kind of confirming that direction. So there's a lot of stuff going on right now, guys. There's a lot to pay attention to. There's a lot to try to work through in terms of information. Just know this. Although we're in kind of this weird state of the market right now, things are going to get better. We're going to get the macro situation under control. We're going to eventually figure out this institutional money thing, right? Whether it's going to be a good thing, whether it's going to be a bad thing, whether it's going to ramp up and just kind of push the market up like it did before. I think that's going to be the direction as we get more spot e or spot ETF approvals. We know about the likelihood of uh, Ethereum spot ETFs coming at some point this year. I don't know if it's quite yet, probably be after the the middle of the year, but we'll wait and see what happens there. But that's kind of what's going on right now. I'm, I'm liking what SHIB's doing. I, I'm probably going to be adding some more SHIB Inu here, to be honest with you. I've been looking to, to pick up some lower positions. I, I think I did miss this drop down here. I can't remember, guys. I, I bought so much crypto here recently, and I plan on just continuing to add my bags, taking advantage of these opportunities, taking advantage of weakness in the market. And we'll, we'll obviously uh, just have to be patient and see how things play out. So I appreciate you guys as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know your thoughts below, but have a great weekend. I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.